Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. In this video I will show you how to build this simple electric model, very easy to make. And I am using an idea from Lead Model. If you don't know his channel, I'll give you the link in the description of this video. He has great stuff. One of the tricky parts when building a homemade electric motor is how to suspend the rotor axis. And lead model solution is very simple but effective and consists in putting the axis in a pair of Phillips screws. So it is very easy to make. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. GLC PCB is a company that makes excellent quality PCBs at an unbeatable price. You can order boards online in minutes. After registration, upload your Gerber files, select the PCB properties, select the payment method and place your order. Best price and quality for all your PCB needs. The coil is made of magnet wire gauge 32. It has approximately 15 ohms of resistance and I made it on a sewing machine bobbin, such as this one. The rotor is a piece of wire that ends on a point in both sides with a wood dowel with two neodymium magnets. The polarities are the same at both ends. The suspension of the rotor is simple and effective. You just insert the tips in the center of the Phillips screws and it can move freely. And also you can adjust the screws for more or less tension. Here's the full motor. This motor does not use a commutator and brushes, but instead uses a magnetic switch. The switch energizes the coil every time a magnet passes near the switch. Then the coil attracts the other magnet and the rotor turns. And this happens every half turn. The motor will not self-start because one of the magnets needs to be close to the magnetic switch. Once that happens, it starts to rotate and the inertia of the rotor keeps it moving. The motor works very well, but of course it's used a model for demonstration purposes, for example for a science fair or a school project. If you want to get power from it, it is not the best option. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you liked the video and see you in the next one.